Hey guys, welcome back. I know I, I know it, it, I know it's been a super long time since I've made another video and sorry about the wait. So anyways, today I just wanted to make a video on how I wash my hair. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I have I think 10, nine, nine and a half, counting this thing, partial dreadlocks. Um, and I've had them for like a while now, like four or five years, I think. And I've been meaning to put out this video on how I wash them in the shower for a long time. And today's the day, folks. So I've been washing them the same way for as long as I've had them. I wash my hair, straight hair, with normal shampoo and conditioner, um, and my dreadlocks I try and wash separately. I usually wash my straight hair about twice a week or so, and I just end up rinsing my dreadlocks uh, most of the time in the shower, but about every three or four washes probably, so maybe once every other month, which seems like a long time, maybe once a month, that might be more realistic, um, I will use shampoo on my dreadlocks. I just don't really use shampoo a lot on them, and I haven't had any issues, and I've actually brushed one out before, and there's a little bit of buildup inside, I think, because I hadn't done a deep clean in a long time, but um, I usually don't have that much buildup on the inside of them, and they don't smell or smell mildewy or wet doggy or anything at all. Um, so I think they're doing fine. I put some conditioning oil in them sometimes from Dolly Locks and sometimes I'll just condition the very tips of them since I have the, the loose tips. And so I'll put some normal conditioner just on this loose hair down at the bottom of them. Um, and they seem like they're doing fine. So yeah. It's me in the shower. Alright, so this is my first ever voiceover that I've done in a video, so hopefully I don't screw this thing up, but obviously the first thing I do is get my hair wet. So here I am separating my loose hair from my dreadlocks for literally no reason, because in a few seconds I just go ahead and put the straight hair back down, so I don't really know why I'm doing this, but <laughs> I've just been using any shampoo that looks good at the grocery store, which is, I don't know, not my favorite, so I need to up my shampoo game. But anyways, I really try and put it only on the top of my head, so I make sure I'm working it into my scalp where my dreadlocks aren't, so only on my loose hair up there, and focusing on the spots where my hair gets greasy, I guess. separate the loose hair from the dreadlocks for real this time <laughs> making sure I get every little hair that I can and I flip my head upside down so usually I'm actually a little bit even more bent forward than this but for this video I still wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing so I really just make sure the water isn't running down the back of my head at all and I rinse 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 as well as I can looking cute. So next is conditioner, which is also grocery store stuff that I need to upgrade. I work it into the tips of my loose hair and kind of work it up and make sure I'm keeping it separated. And I rinse my hands and then kind of work my fingertips through my scalp where my dreadlocks are. And I clip my loose hair to the top of my head so my conditioner can sit for a few minutes. For the past few years, I've been using Dolly Locks. This bottle has literally lasted me years because I barely use any. Um, so I just put a few squirts on my hands and massage it onto my scalp, only where my dreadlocks are, and really make sure to work it into the base of my dreadlocks. And then I just kind of let it go down. Like when I rinse my hair, I don't really put it on the tips of my dreadlocks. It just kind of focus on the base so I'm just letting the water kind of rinse it down obviously if my hair got anything gross in it I would you know wash it more with the soap down there but usually I just 
give it a good rinse and really make sure I'm squeezing from the top down, switching on the other side and squeezing from the top down just to make sure I've really rinsed everything out. And time to rinse the conditioner out of my loose hair. So this is the part I'm extra careful not to get it down in my dreadlocks because conditioner for loose hair is not okay for dreadlocks. So I, again, keep my head held down and rinse really well. Once I've rinsed it as well as I can, I flip my head back, trying to still be careful not to get my loose hair on my dreadlocks too much. Still trying to keep it as separated as I can for this last rinse to really make sure I have everything. And then I go ahead and rinse it all together. As you can tell, a really important part of this video is making sure you rinse everything very, very well because you don't want that leftover residue to go inside of your dreadlocks and cause any buildups. So here I am now with the water off, just squeezing all the water I can out of my dreadlocks before I grab my towel and dry everything else off. When I'm drying my hair with a towel, I try and be pretty gentle and not rub it around too much. And I just try and squeeze as much of the water out as I can. Then I put my hair up in the towel like this and get dressed. And when I'm done getting dressed, I continue to squeeze as much of the water out. I take my Dolly Locks conditioning oil that I've also had for a really long time that I definitely need to get more of and I need to use it more frequently but I really just use it every like month or two or three sometimes <laughs> but I put a few drops dabs I suppose on my fingertips and rub it together and just kind of gently work it through my dreadlocks So for some reason I thought it was important to show you guys the tip of this dreadlock. It's just a little bit more rough than the other ones because I brushed it out a little bit. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to put a little bit more conditioning oil on it to try and smooth it out. But I've been putting conditioner and stuff on it for like months now and it hasn't changed. So just thought it was interesting, I guess. much it with my hair. I just I'm gonna do my makeup and put my hair back and voila. Thing I just wanted to add really quickly is that I still don't own a hair dryer and someone really really sweet offered to buy one for me and it's not that I like can't afford one. Um, I'm lazy. I'm lazy and I don't like the idea of having to dry my hair after I take a shower <laughs> um, and I don't know I think hair dryers can be really damaging and I don't really do anything to my hair other than braid it I don't like straighten it or um, you know dye it or apply any other products to it so I just don't really want to hair dry it so usually what I do is I always make sure I shower in the morning um, or like during the first part of the day to make sure that my hair has a lot of time to dry. And if it's nice out, like it is today, it's I'm just gonna hang outside for a little bit, let my hair get some sun and air, and um, hopefully it'll dry pretty soon. Just try not to go to bed with a wet head, and if I need to shower before bed, I'll put my hair up and then wash it in the morning, so. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking it out. If you've been kind of a long time subscriber and you've been waiting and waiting for me to put out another video. <laughs> I see you and I'm trying and life has been uh, crazy, as you all know. So where you are, I hope you're doing okay and thinking about you and uh, yeah. Comment any questions you have below and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you want to see more videos about my uh, dreadlock journey then 
hit subscribe. Also, just always love each other. Yelly. Everybody love everybody. Okay. I'm leaving now. Bye.